that's me, your father. Uh, oh, it's not. You the father. <laughs> oh, that's what that means. Yeah. I can Hello, what's up, fam? I make them interest updates to impart to you today, and everything revolves around Bluefess and the new paternity claims. Presently, before we plunge into this, remember to hit that like button, buy in, and ring the warning chime so you never pass up the most recent superstar news and updates. Thus, you've most likely heard the buzz about Bluefist and Kryzen's paternity test show. It's been a remarkable roller coaster ride, hasn't it? Blueface has been resolute from the very beginning that he's not the dad, and a considerable lot of us thought he was simply working up show to no one's surprise. In any case, the curve in this story is that Kryzen as of late confronted a few serious claims about the legitimacy of the paternity test. We should rewind a piece. At the point when Kryzen declared her pregnancy, Bluefist quickly denied being the dad. He gave no strong reasons. He only absolutely would not acknowledge paternity until a DNA test demonstrated in any case. Also, prepare to be blown away. The test returned positive, affirming that Bluefist is to be sure the dad. In any case, here's where things get fascinating. Some new proof has surfaced, proposing that the DNA test might not have been essentially as clear as it appeared. Claims have been made that Kryzen could have attempted to control the outcomes to nail the paternity to Bluefist. This has prompted a ton of disarray and questions encompassing the whole circumstance. He said to respond to you, all questions, yes, me and rock, are formally done it's on the up and up I attempted it, and obviously it wasn't given before she declares she's pregnant with another person's kid, not mine, rock has had experiences with 10 distinct men somewhat recently, until I see a DNA test, then it's not mine, it's anything but a blue face child, presently, it's memorable's fundamental that charges are only that. Claims. We don't have the real factors yet, and it's critical to sit tight for any authority articulations or legal procedures prior to rushing to make judgment calls. However, one thing's without a doubt. This show has positively kept all of us as eager and anxious as ever. What's more, we watch this work out on the unscripted television show it says currently, as we've seen, the show among Blueface and Kryzen has taken a few peculiar, exciting bends in the road. Despite the fact that Blueface was affirmed as the dad, it didn't prompt the cheerfully ever after we could have anticipated. Blueface's way of behaving got ugly, as a matter of fact. He didn't appear to be repentant about already putting Kryzen on impact. He sent mean messages to Kryzen saying stuff like, I will be a miscreant everlastingly, I'm not in any event. Going to conceal it for genuine you would rather not be stuck at home with a child, while I'm with the following youthful honeybee. A child will make us adhered you would rather not be left with someone like me, considering the manner in which I as of now feel about you. All things being equal, he attempted to compel her to consider choices to not have the child. At the point when she declined, he made a tempest of show, going off on Twitter, proclaiming he didn't need the youngster and wouldn't pay kid support. He said whoever the appointed authority is on my kid support case, I told this young lady, I don't need the child, she actually got time to dispose of it, and she driving it on me, so you better make the cost right, she attempting to trap me, don't allow her to get you, she actually got time to end this. For a really long time, he openly communicated lack of engagement in becoming a dad with Kryzen. At the point when she started giving birth, he wasn't there, as he was in the middle of living it up in Miami with his other child mom, Jaden Alexis, otherwise called Stewie. Yet here's where things get fascinating. The second their child, Kryzen Malone Jr., showed up, Bluefist had an unexpected shift in perspective. He started acting concerned, in any event, taking steps to remove the child from Kryzen on the off chance that she didn't consent to his desires. Notwithstanding, there's a contort. Kryzen didn't put Blueface's name on the birth authentication. 
All things considered, she gave the child her own first and last name, making it Kryzen Malone Jr. Blueface's name is mysteriously gone, which caused a commotion. Kryzen referenced that they had separated while she was pregnant, which could make sense of her choice. However, here's where it gets significantly more insane. They accommodated about seven days after the child's appearance. Blueface even visited Kryzen and the child in Baltimore, and they appeared to manage everything well. She even made an appearance in his new music video. In spite of this, she actually didn't add his name to the birth declaration. Things at long last. Arrived at a limit a couple of days prior when they had a huge Twitter quarrel. Blueface blamed Kryzen for being an unsuitable mother and posted an image of the child's hernia, reprimanding Kryzen for not making a move. He posted a progression of tweets where he said stuff like, child actually ain't had the medical procedure for his hernia, she lying discussing he sound he don't have a pee cause the hernia in his private parts is so large, and she's consistent on here discussing me in my southeast, fix our children see first then. At that point, go get another person to write everyone label her on her poster page. And whatever you all got to do to get this going so I can quit being a mind-blowing subject. He likewise said, I attempt to make the best decision to keep it hidden, yet this young lady continue onward. Endlessly let me be you break child. She is a terrible mother, yes. She is ill-suited. She been pushing the medical procedure, back missing the arrangement. So she can do what she needs. I went to Balamore, believing it's a medical procedure, yet they discussing she missed the arrangement. She took steps to squeeze charges against him and sent him to imprison Blueface. She likewise guaranteed that the genuine explanation that Blueface was acting enough was that she didn't give the child his name she tweeted. You saying I'm unsuitable, cause he's not a Jonathan Jr. in any case. He's Kryzen Jr. Let them know how you simply need to take my child. Cause I named him after me. I'm left with controlling a controller. He believe I'm slow or stupid. And if it's not too much trouble, Blue be more worried about your probation than accepting my child from me. As influence, I have documentation, Jonathan Dorman. Presently, as though this show couldn't get any more insane, things went off in an unexpected direction. Kryzen was so incensed about Blueface's activities that she took steps to squeeze charges against him and sent him to imprison. This brought up a basic issue. Why hasn't she formally acknowledged Blueface as the dad of the child, particularly since she was able to go through a DNA test while pregnant? All things considered, here's where it gets truly charming. Ongoing disclosures propose that there may be more going on in the background. Kryzen's ex showed up, guaranteeing that he is the genuine dad of the youngster, not Blueface. He claims that Kryzen has been deluding everybody from the start. He posted next to each other pictures of him and the child to show exactly the amount they look resemble the other the same, and said thank you God ahead of time since this stuff is getting insane. He likewise said, you are not the dad blue face. Kryzen likewise appeared to affirm the bits of gossip when she jumped at the chance to post about how her ex was the child daddy blue face, then went off on Twitter saying, I muted with something off. I don't believe that is my child. The DNA test was somewhat strange. When I read it appeared to be phony, I had zero power over that test. In addition to how could you have a child in more? when you and the supposed dad live in L.A., and the person guaranteeing the child live in more, I think they look a ton the same more than me. What do you think he proceeded with? I got one child mom and two children. Until additional notification, the best news I got the entire year and I'm free. He additionally discussed how bizarre it was that the DNA results were at that point open when Kryzen gave it to him, saying, I ain't even contemplate that the paper was collapsed up and thrash Mori test ain't never seemed to be that. He show has these fans shook in the roads have been saying a wide range of stuff. Right now on the off chance that I was Kryzen, 
I played wasn't his child either on the grounds that it's smarter to not have blue face in her life. Once he get one more paternity and placed his name on the birth paper, all he going to do is drag that young lady through court. I play the you're not the dad game as well. This is simply miserable. If it's not too much trouble, safeguard this child on the grounds that you all doing the most child don't merit this. It's going to have silver hairs before one old. And I think Kryzen Bluefis and Kryzen X Ronnie need to do a DNA test to come by results to see who's the dad of that child to demonstrate to the world this entire Kryzen and Bluefish show getting baffled. Cretius, the situation starts to get interesting. All in all, what do all of you think about this contort? Was Kryzen really lying about Bluefish being the dad? Or would she say she is attempting to shield herself and her child from Blueface's activities? We very much want to hear your contemplations, so make a point to drop them in the remarks beneath. Gratitude for watching, and we'll get you in the following video.